Hello again guys, how are we all doing? It's nice to see you all again. Something a little bit different from me today guys, uh, it's something that might not appeal to very many people, but I'd like to put it out there anyway, on my channel, because it means quite a lot to me. What I want to talk to you today about guys is the snooker player, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Now I started following Ronnie's career quite early on when he very first turned pro, which was about early to mid 90s, that sort of a time. And I can remember even him being such a young lad, how amazed I was watching him around the snooker table. He was young, he was energetic, he was attacking, he was ruthless, he was fast. And that's exactly what the game of snooker needed at that time. Because the general consensus of snooker back then was it was a boring sport. Something an old man had nod off to in the afternoon, drinking a pint of mild. Well, Ronnie came along and blew those doors wide open and ushered in a new type of snooker player, if you will. Someone who's energetic, fast and attacking around the table. No more Peter Ebdens, who takes five minutes per shot and wears his opponent down through boredom. Those times were gone. I grew up with my granddad, who was an avid snooker fan himself. So I remember players like uh, Steve Davis, Jimmy White, Hurricane Higgins, Dennis Taylor, you know, legends of the game. But Rodney was... Rodney? Excuse, excuse me. Ronnie was a step above hell. He was three or four steps above these legends of the game. He was something else. I don't really want to concentrate on the youth of his career. I want to concentrate really on the past six to twelve months that I've been observing. Now you've got to remember, Ronnie at the moment is 48 years old nearly 50 years old for a snooker player that is astonishing it really is usually for a snooker player when they get to the mid 30s early 40s they tend to start dropping down the ranks until eventually you don't hear about them anymore or they end up in the bbc commentary with you know ken docky uh, stephen hendry john parrot and all the rest of them but ronnie is getting better with age he's like a fine wine He's taking on long shots, long pots and potting them. You should be able to do that at 48 years old. Your long game in snooker diminishes, usually, as you get older. But it isn't with Ronnie. He hasn't had his faults throughout his career. He's had, uh, oh, I'll say, quite a few mishaps. Uh, he's had some mental health issues. Uh, his dad going to prison messed him up quite a lot. I mean, you've seen it. If you've been a, a fan of snooker like, for years like I have, he's sitting in his, in his chair with a cloth over his face and conceding matches against Stephen Hendry in the World Championships when he was only like uh, four or five frames down. All mental health. I watched his documentary on Amazon. He went all through it, and it's, it's quite heartbreaking, really. You know, any, any type of mental health is tough, especially on a sportsman. When you've got so many people, like a whole nation, on your back, wishing you on, a lot of pressure. So to still be here, bringing in the titles at 48 is a testament to the man. He's just won three titles in the space of four months. He won the UK Championship. A couple of weeks later, he won the Masters. And tonight, he beat Judd Trump to win the World Grand Prix. At 48, I can't emphasise how amazing that is. Nearly 50 years old. And he, there's no sign of him slowing down either. He's just getting better and better and better as he gets older. Is there going to be another Ronnie O'Sullivan over the horizon? I don't know. I was hoping it'd be Judd Trump when he first started, when he first came on the scene. But it hasn't really materialised. Good player. Good young player. He's got a lot of success in his way. But is he a Ronnie O'Sullivan? No. I don't think anybody ever will. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. I just wanted to give my uh, my admiration for my most favourite snooker player in the entire world. I'll probably never have a more favourite player until the moment I'm put six feet under, to be honest. Great player, greatest of all time, and there's plenty more years to come, believe me. Plenty more 147s, hopefully. Right, thanks very much for watching, guys. If, if you are interested in this, then, uh, yeah, thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.